Let's take a step inside the life and home of an elderly widow who passed away in the early 90s. Inside of her home looks no different from the day she took her last breath. She was gifted this late 1800s house by her father, where she lived with her husband and three children. But throughout the years, her children grew up and left to live their lives in new environments. During that time, her husband grew ill and unfortunately passed away by her side. She lived her final days in the home all by herself until 1992, when she died at the age of 90 in her living room. Ever since, the house has sat empty of life for 30 years, completely untouched. Let's take a look inside. Alright, what's up everybody? It's Big Banks and we are back again for another video. Today we are in this abandoned 1800s house. Um, it was built sometime in the late 1800s. We are in a complete time capsule. This place is incredible. We don't know much about it. Uh, what we're thinking is maybe somebody died here and the family never came and got their stuff. This has been sitting here for quite some time. I'm going to say like a long, long time. 50 plus years. I mean, this has been abandoned. So. I am with uh, the Bando fam today. They're right behind the camera. He's trying to sneak around so he's not making noise. But... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, my bad, guys. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, we're here today and this is this is incredible. We we love houses like this. So we're going to try to figure out a story as we go along here. If we don't figure it out, you know, I always figure that out for the beginning of the videos. So let's get right into this explore. And I can't wait to show you this place. Obviously, we're in this bedroom and it is incredible. The wallpaper, the floor wallpapers, the blue colors. I mean, this is a southern home. The bed is still made, the pillows, the rugs. I mean, this is incredible. So I believe this is maybe the master bedroom. There's a baby crib here. So obviously they had a baby at one point. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this place. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, support the channel by doing that. And check out Bando Fem in here. And let's get right into this video. All right, guys, so we are on the outside of the house. Um, I wanted to show you this, guys, before I show you all the inside. We actually talked to the neighbor, and uh, they told us a little bit of history about it. And an older lady lived here, and um, she passed away in the 90s, which is kind of crazy that all this stuff is still in here from the 50s. Um, apparently, she wanted to get this house, but it's just, you know, it's too far gone. Her dad built it for her, and she moved in. She had kids and everything, and she ended up dying alone in the house. Could explain why there's blood on the couch and stuff, but it's just a bit um, unsettling in there. So, I want to show you guys, and yeah, I kind of just gave a little bit away there, but I want to show you guys this house, so stay tuned, keep watching all the way to the end, and let's go inside. But let me show you a little more outside. Look at these guys. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm like over here filming and these guys are Maybe you will find out. You guys are churning corn yeah. over here. Churning corn. Yeah, you guys are churn, churning corn out here. I've never. Whatever that is. I've never churned corn. Churn, 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 churn and butter, butter, whatever. Butter, right. butter churning corn. butter. Churning corn. God. I'm done. Man, can I that corn butter? It's uh, I hear the comments come. I already know. Yeah, don't don't take that out of the video. Corn butter sounds like You gotta leave that. I gotta leave it in the video now. Yeah. You churn butter and crack corn. Yes. Posey knows. You crack butter. He knows Alabama. butter and corn. Yes. He knows Alabama. <laughs> and then you butter your corn. That's, that's yeah. Nice. <laughs> you sure you don't butter. Well, while these guys are making fun of me, I'm gonna go over to the front of the house, and show you guys this cool house. It's kind of falling apart over here, in the front. Ah, of course. Up top there, it is painted blue. Always love to see it, Southern homes. But look at the front porch of this house. Kind of falling apart here. There's a swing. Um, there's probably some chairs that was been there. Pillars. I wish this house wasn't so overgrown. You could really see the beauty of this. We have a car over here. And this is a Ford? It says Ford over here on the back. So. That's Ford Bear. So I'm not sure. I've never heard of this this uh, 
model, but there's literally moss growing inside the car. The red interior is really cool. Wow. And we are on some farmland. So there are some barns out here and a lot of land. So we got a collapsed barn over here and a little barn over there. I don't know if that's part of this property, but it is kind of falling apart. And then we're here at the back of the house. So pretty crazy. But yeah, let's go inside. Let's show you everything in there and hope you guys enjoy. So guys, we walk into this master bedroom. I'm starting you guys up here. Up, look at this bed. I mean, you can tell that's very old. You can tell it's kind of detailed. Look at that. I'm not sure what kind of ceilings this is. It's not drop ceiling, I don't think, but definitely kind of gives that effect this tile ceiling and then I love that in these southern homes they have beautiful floral wallpaper with different colors and that's a big thing that's down here which I don't know I just absolutely love it but look at some of this furniture that's left in here these old dressers have definitely been in here for years on years Guys, one thing we really have to watch out about in this house is there are many, many, many brown recluse spiders. There's actually one right here. You guys can see that. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be bitten by one of these spiders. They're not good. They will leave your skin deteriorated and just, your skin will be looking like these walls here. You don't want to get bitten by one of these. We got to be really careful in these places. But as you can see guys, this room it's completely untouched and it's still like frozen in time and I absolutely love that I love that about these houses and it really tells more of a story so I want to keep showing you this room because there's still stuff left in here that I want to show you guys this looks like almost a little desk or something like that I can't really tell or maybe a nightstand it's definitely older I wonder if anything is left in these drawers here no. It's very hard to close. You have to go like into my inch to close it. But I think they're all empty. This baby crib is actually quite old as you can tell. They don't make mattresses like this anymore. This is actually, this is made of wood and it rolls around. this wall we have this is a desk right here or maybe a vanity because there's a mirror so maybe this is where they did the makeup or you know got ready in the mornings things like that and of course we have some books here Cappy Ricks Matt Paisley you can tell these books are quite old Great son, Mike laughed, what a gal, you're wonderful madam. Wow, seeing these old books like that is incredible. And then again, this bed. And even this very, very nice rug here. Has some floral patterns to it. What an amazing bedroom this is. We have this old vintage fan here, which I wonder if it would still work if you plugged it in. But obviously there's no power to this place. And this is your closet with everything still inside. The clothes are all, looks like they may have fallen off. 
the hangers. And this is actually quite crazy here. That's actually just a stick that they've put in between two pieces of wood that they've nailed into the wall. So I'm thinking that the stick fell from that one and all the clothes ended up falling with it, leaving it like this. I'd never seen that before. They just put a stick up there. You can definitely tell it's old. And this door frame is literally only about six foot tall. My head hits it. So guys, we have a lot of rooms left in this house. We got one across the hall. A lot of stuff left in here. There's a baby grand piano downstairs. So you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end to watch that and be sure to subscribe to see more places like this. So let's continue to explore this place. And again, here's Bando fam. <laughs> What'd you that. find? Look at that pocket knife. Oh man. Like old one, like an old Leatherman or something. How old do you think that is? I don't know. Gotta be. No idea. Not like. Oh. It usually, I mean, they usually like it's a like, case. I'm thinking this place was abandoned like maybe in this in the like 50s or 60s. Yeah, yeah, that's something like that. Right. All this furniture, the way everything is. Yeah. So that's what we're thinking so far, but we're gonna keep walking through and maybe try to find some dates. Let's continue to explore. We're gonna go to the next bedroom now and see what's left in there. So guys, the next bedroom is right there, but right when you come out of the main bedroom we just showed you, this is what you see. You see a massive treasure chest sitting here. And this thing is very good quality. Very expensive, it looks like. Some things left in it, like little pillows and looks like a hat, a bonnet maybe. You know that's worth a lot of money to be leaving behind. Very antique. And then look at the wallpaper in here. This looks like, uh, I don't know, there's like some ships and stuff. I'm not sure what town this is depicting or, or what, but quite amazing. And you can see the, uh, the water damage coming in here. The ceiling is kind of, the wallpaper is kind of coming off and becoming wavy. And things like that but the pattern here makes it look so incredible we have like a little table right here kind of like the one that's in there we have a chair and this was probably I would say for the vanity in the room and we have this nice dresser and what looks to be a horn of some sort One dollar per year, copy. Sand Springs, Oklahoma. The Hunter's Horn. Ah, so this is what this is for. It says volume 28, number 11, August 1949. You guys can see that. So maybe it was the 50s when this place went abandoned. That's incredible. Wow, look at that. It shows the name of the dogs. Wednesday Blaze M. Fee $50. And you know back then that was kind of a good amount of money. Big Tom Buzzard. Wow, this is incredible. Fee twenty dollars cash, Dallas, Texas, Greensboro, North Carolina. So this shows where they all come from. And then this, I guess, this horn was a part of it. So maybe they had some type of dog that they put in these shows. We're gonna move on to the next bedroom now. I want to show you guys everything. So I hope you guys are enjoying. This has been kind of a trip where we haven't really seen much. Haven't really gotten into a lot of good spots. A lot of places have been empty, but now we're in a really good one. So let's continue this explore. And guys, like I said, you gotta, you gotta see downstairs. It's, it's immaculate, especially the baby grand piano. So keep watching and subscribe if you're new. All right, guys, this is the second bedroom and the beds aren't 
necessarily made but what it looks like and this is just my this is just what I'm analyzing here I believe this is a mattress as well but it's kind of just like a, it's almost like a giant pillow but it's a mattress you know what I mean and that would be like what you put underneath or on top so they have two parts of it but there's two beds in here so maybe brother stayed in here or a sibling you know some type of some type of family type thing living here your brother's sister situation who knows but this is just what I'm getting from this they look like queen size beds they're very nice with the bed frames they're really really uh, antique and I really like this one a lot especially this room is a little bit more messy and you can see it's wood paneling on the ceiling She's definitely older. You can kind of see up through the attic a little bit. There is some stuff up there, but I'm not sure how to get up there. The walls are warping, coming off. And we have this old vintage vacuum cleaner. Guys, what year do you think this is from? I'm thinking like 50s or 60s. This looks like something from like a, like a, the Jetsons or something. It's like futuristic but you know vintage at the same time <laughs> it's really cool I don't know how to explain it but I like it a lot here's a dresser and oh my lord there's a bird in here must have got stuck couldn't get out George still has some of their clothes and stuff in it I see some ties maybe there's even a blender in here for some reason that's strange but see what I mean there's like this giant piece on top and then underneath is another little mattress type thingy so maybe that's how mattresses were back in the day I'm not sure back in the 50s I love these old chairs and these old vanities I mean they're just beautiful I'm gonna address this really quick I know you guys hate my nails listen it's my wife's idea you know we thought we'd try it because who wants who doesn't who, you know who cares you know it's just it's just paint and it doesn't make me any different of a person just because I have some paint on my nails it's just for fun so I mean I, I probably will go back to not having them I may get them again who knows I just it's just for fun guys there's no need to be hateful about it the point is is I'm still me I'm still the same person and it doesn't change who I am so I just want to get that out of the way because I've been seeing a lot of it but yeah let's get right back into this explore we just did that bedroom uh, I'm about to take you guys downstairs it's gonna be amazing down there full-on time capsule you know untouched and you guys are gonna love it so let's head on downstairs and let's check it out okay Posey say okay, this guys, again what'd you say like I'm not tripping like there's more there's more to this house because like okay this is the front right okay. and when you go downstairs it goes further back that way right yeah oh, come here like these two rooms these two rooms are not the only rooms upstairs but look like we, number one we can't find the attic but look this paneling was put over there's a door there yeah there's definitely a door there there's a door there like one of those old school doors like not with hinges wait what what's back there i don't know like how do you get back there we have to take the whole paneling down it's kind I'm of not loose. doing that <laughs> Move it. That's, that's damaging true it's yeah Unless there's another way i feel like there would have to be right that's another door though. That's definitely another door. A secret door? In an old house? Like and this? that's probably the way to get to the attic. Uh, we found some secret door. There's not a way to it though. Yeah. Without ripping the wall off, which we're not gonna do that. So it's like, I guess it's just a mystery. Okay, so we came down the stairs. I wanna show you the foyer, like when you first walk in. And then we'll get into these rooms over here. I'll show you the living room, which is really, really, really good. The dining room, this bedroom right here. This bedroom is a little bit messy, but it gets better over here on this side so let's uh let's continue to explore this is the front door it has a board on glass broken somebody maybe a broke in at one point maybe a squatter or something but look at the staircase beautiful southern you know gotta love it gotta love it same wallpaper comes down here from upstairs We have a couple of old chairs here. And then for this for this room, I'm gonna show you this room first because it's not as 
it's not as much as the other rooms but uh look at these clothes in here i mean look at the fabric of this jacket that is so strange it has many many clothes here and you can tell these are older look at this dress they're all just hanging up on this door i don't want to touch too much there's literally brown recluse spiders everywhere in this house I've seen at least four or five but you can tell what i mean this room isn't as great stuff is kind of just scattered about the floor is caving in on, on that side down there it has a bed but like i said this room is a bit messy it's a really cool farmhouse and a nice rocking chair over there but i wanted to show you this room right here it's the main living room but before I show you all of this let's see this dresser right here we have some old paintings old pictures a really old magazine here there's another brown recluse spider I want to touch it Vanities, $49. Replacement doors, $11.99 each. It's a cabinet sale. Amazing. I don't want to touch it too much. I don't want to get spiders on me. Like I said, I don't want my skin looking like these walls here. Well, all this stuff is still left in these drawers. It's so decayed, it's so hard to open. Like it's been sitting here so long. What are you guys laughing about? He started recording. Yeah, I tried he, to make a like, video. He was doing this, but he wasn't recording. <laughs> he was classic, just like, look. Classic posy here. Professional. <laughs> Everybody, go check out his YouTube channel for me. Come on. Give me some time. Give me some time. He, Get, goes, he goes. He's starting to come out with videos. He dropped a really good one about this murder house. He doesn't like it as much. I like it. So you guys should go check it out. <laughs> is this a baby grand or is this a full grand? Not. That's a baby grand, I think. I don't know enough about pianos. I'm not sure. It, it's big, but I don't know. I think it's a baby grand. What kind of stains is this on the couch? Uh, I think that's blood. It was. It's dried brown on the white part. You think that's blood? I do think that's blood. It's right here. It's right there. All right here. Yeah, this is this is blood. If body leakage, like if somebody died here. That could be the case. Because I mean, otherwise they would throw it out or try to clean it up, right? That could be the case. I mean, this was back a long time ago too, so yeah. this could very well be where somebody died. Yeah. That's kind of a lot of blood. Yo, that painting on the wall, though. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I like that's something you'd see in a museum or something. That's beautiful. Looks like a, a couple like, sitting on a well, maybe. And then there's a little puppy dog right there. The walls are warping in here. The floors are, you know, they're, they're wobbly. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing house. But I do believe somebody died right there on the couch. Because that is, that is blood. It's dried brown. Look at the details on this chair, though. Look at the designs. It's like a winter wonderland. I love how there's always these like, uh, these old carpets like this in houses. And then the design on this chair is even cool too. It's got like a whole town. And then we saw this room and we thought this might go up to that secret room, but I think it's just a closet, but it has an opening up there. But it's just like, the wallpaper or something. On this table, we have our daily bread, winter of 77 and 78. That's the newest dates I see in here. It's the 70s, but this still gives off a 50s vibe. Okay, so right here, as we go to this next room, 
there's a bunch of high heels left in this in this drawer here. But we walk through this and we get to this room. And we have another piano over there. And it even has some, some of the family members' faces on it. So we'll go check that out here in a second. But look at this bed. I don't know why this is placed here. Maybe this wasn't supposed to be like this. Because the angle it's at is very strange. But also, this door is not like a door I've seen before. It's like plywood. It's like, look how old this door is. This bed is very old. It's just at this weird angle. And obviously, that is kidding in down there. This quite possibly could have been the master bedroom. I could be wrong about the upstairs. But we have some buttons, some old pieces of jewelry, maybe even old napkins. And we have a shotgun shell still here. The floor is a little bit dodgy, so we'll be a little bit careful. But we have some china left in here. But this piano is this piano is unreal. I love the detail in it. What kind of chair is this? This little tiny chair. <laughs> That's cool. So this is the man that must have lived here. There's multiple pictures. I don't know if it's all the same guy, it might be. Or maybe these are famous people, I don't know. Must have liked horses, this is a farmhouse. So it must have liked some sort of horses. This is the biggest bedroom. Maybe this might be the biggest bedroom, actually. Actually, I am You're wrong yet again. This is the biggest bedroom here. And it has a heater and a TV and an organ. Nice bed. <laughs> Chairs, everything. I mean, this room was definitely the master bedroom. And it's right off of the kitchen. And you have your own little space right here. I mean, this this is it, this is the master. They even had some sort of memory foam on this mattress. Redline Tour in Kentucky. They must like to travel a little bit and do different types of events, things like that. Look at this organ though. Is there one thing you always see in abandoned places? Because they're also the heaviest and the hardest to move out of places, so you usually just leave them here. This organ probably wouldn't be that hard to move, but the, the piano in there probably would be. So, but in this case, they left everything here. And this room is very nice. That heater, I'm not sure what year that heater's from, but that's definitely, uh, I wanna say that's like 70s maybe. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. And then we have a sewing machine. And I think the sewing machine itself is actually right there. And this was the table. I wonder if it was a singer. Might have been, might have not been. There's not really a name on it. Wow, I love that old TV. That's amazing. House is blowing me away. Back over here, we get into the kitchen where we have, you know, a Sears cold spot frostless fridge. Washer and dryer right next to the fridge. Don't see that very often. Possibly food in the fridge, but actually there's none, which is a bit shocking. 
all the dishes are here still. Even a bird's nest up in this one. All the cleaning supplies, solo cups, toasters. I mean, everything's here. Party little breakfast table right here. Here's our oven. You got green beans down there. You got a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> green beans. And then this room is the dining room. And the ceiling, before they put this tiling up there, it was actually painted pink and blue. So it's blue, pink, and then blue again. That's amazing. Why would they put why would they change that? That's awesome. I love that. You can kind of see that pink a little bit there. Wow. Look at this table. All the chairs are still here. Cabinets. Floors are falling in a little bit, so you can tell it's decaying. Wow, I'm in love with this. Look at this old hat. This is like for uh, a funeral. Pretty positive that's for a funeral. This is amazing. All right guys, so that's the end of today's video. We explored the entire inside of the house. What an incredible explorer. Yeah, thank you guys for bringing me along. And uh, Eric just showed up. We're gonna do some more photos in this place, do some TikToks, so check us all out on TikTok, on uh, Instagram, everything. Like I said, check out the Bando fam on YouTube, TikTok, all that stuff. Everything will be down in the description. And we're gonna get out of this place and take some more pictures. So, all right guys, so till next time, Big Banks out. <laughs>